the Apopka Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. The Oklahoma men's basketball team picked up a win midweek against Texas Tech, and Mike Baldwin joins us on the phone. Mike, it wasn't necessarily very pretty, but uh, the shooting was continued for Oklahoma. They still get that win. How does this all factor moving forward? Can they continue to have these sort of offensive woes and still hope to win Big 12 games? Uh, I don't think so, Jenny. I mean, that was some, part of the problem during their own three start. Of course, you're playing uh, top 20 teams like Missouri, Kansas, and then the Bedlam rival. But when you're shooting 35%, under 40%, like they were consistently, it just makes it very difficult to win. Just like when you don't get hits in baseball and you don't move the change in football, it's just <laughs> hard to win. But they did find a way to win against a bad Texas Tech team the other night because their defense was pretty good and held uh, Texas Tech to only 34% shooting. So the positive was their defense has been playing pretty well, but the, the negative is their offense is going to have to come around if they're going to consistently win in a league that's this tough. A guy that was so good in non-conference play, Stephen Pledger, hasn't been nearly as good in conference play. What does he have to do to try to get back to where he was? Such a great non-conference start for the shooting guard. Well, we're going to write a little bit about him in Saturday's paper and how he, he sort of emulates Ray Allen on the Boston Celtics. So he's one of those shooters that when he's open, he shoots a 1,000 jump shots after practice every, uh, every day at practice. So he can really knock it down. But now opponents are game planning. He's third leading scorer in the conference. He's averaging over 17 a game. So people are game planning that. So as a result, he, he is trying to develop his game to where he's taking people more off the dribble, getting the lane more and get to the line more. And so he's trying to expand his game a little bit because everybody knows he's just one of the best spot-up shooters in the country. But now he's realizing that they'll try to take that away from him and he needs to do other things. What about this Saturday game, Mike? Uh, Sooners get ready to go to Texas A&M. Is this one where they could maybe steal a road win in the Big 12? Well, they'll be an underdog, of course. But, yeah, I think so. A&M's 1-4 in conference. They have about like a 250 RPI nationally. They haven't played well. Their coach was a little under, uh, was sick with some Parkinson syndrome, uh, you know, in preseason. And so they've sort of been playing catch up. Their best player, Milton, has been a little hurt, and he, he joined the team around Christmas. But A&M's got a lot of potential. The coaches picked them co favorite with Kansas. But they haven't even played anything close to that. And it, it, it's a winnable game. They'll have to go play well. They'll have to shoot a lot better than they've been shooting. But this is a game that's a lot easier than it looked on the schedule a couple of months ago. All right. Thanks, Mike. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.